Yo, what is good, yo? We are out here trying to get to Grand Central Station on our way to go see my son in Stan Atlantic at Irving Plaza. They're about to demolish this venue. I cannot wait. <laughs> actually leaving Grand Central Terminal right now on the way to Irving Plaza. Tonight's lineup is insane. We got Party Alone, we got Stan Atlantic, and the King himself, Mod Son. God Save the Teen, 10 out of 10 album. I literally cannot wait to hear these songs live. I've been looking so fucking forward to this. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm fucking so excited. You already know I gotta hit up a motherfucking Burger King before I go jam my ass out of the Mod Son. Church of our savior, baby. You better pray before I go see the mother son. I keep seeing this shit like fucking everywhere today. This is the most ratchet fucking Duncan on the planet. Don't fucking go there. I fucking hate that one. Okay, so today is March 15th, 2023. So today was the Cash App pre-sale for the fucking Drake and 21 Savage summer tour that happened this summer. And motherfucker, that was the literal worst experience of my life trying to get tickets for that shit. Like, mind you, I did not get tickets. It did not work out in the end. So basically, this is what happened is that if you had a Cash App card, you got early access to go buy tickets to the um, Drake tour. And uh, so I put in all my information and everything. And I fucking literally sat in the queue, like with all the people with their Cash App cards for an hour and a fucking half. Once the fucking hour and a half passes, literally everything was bought up. The motherfuckers bought that shit and already was like putting it up for fucking resale and shit. Like literally a nosebleed ticket was like $300, $400. The 100 level of Madison Square Garden was fucking like $500, $600. The pit was like fucking like $800. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But in the same breath, I really wanted to fucking go. Cause I keep hearing um, rumors on Twitter that this is low key Drake's fucking retirement tour and i'm like if that's true i gotta see this motherfucker i gotta see this motherfucker i gotta figure out a way to get that shit yo quick update i did end up getting the motherfucking drake tickets on the general public sale on march 17th uh that shit was an arm and a leg i'm sitting up in Timbo too but when it is poor fucking better than nothing drake and 21 savage fuck yes bitch all right all right back back to the fucking my son vlog let's go do some stuff them cloud fucking zooming on there oh shit this camera fucking nice god damn you know what's crazy is if I won the 254 million jackpot, right? I could literally afford to bring like me and my two friends to the Drake and 21 Savage concert. Best homophobic chicken in town, baby. Best homophobic chicken in town. Come on, there's literally no fucking worse feeling on the planet when you're trying to fucking take a mean ass week at fucking McDonald's and you can't fucking stand by anything. I fucking hate you bitches. I'm literally about to make a purchase just so I can take a piss. This is crazy. This fucking crazy. Skip on bitch. Skip fucking walking. Fuck y'all. See, I love New York City with all my heart, but that is the one thing that just pisses me off about this fucking city. I literally just had to fucking buy a large french fry just so I can take a fucking piss. Yeah, I could have probably got the small, but my fat ass wanted the large. All right, bye. I remember when I came to the city this time last year. This shit looked dumb for you. This shit just fucking dead still. Fucking whack ass weather. Oh, wait, y'all. Look how cool that is. Three, 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 motherfucker. Oh my god, I'm a little fucking yachty. I already know I'm on the correct path to take the walk to Poland because he's on my path. Holy shit, the gang's all here. Yo, so I don't know if y'all been following what's been going on with Spotify recently, but I'll kind of wrap it up in a nutshell for y'all. Uh, it's one of those things where like, if you're a new artist, right, and you're uploading your new music and you're not really well known, you kind of low key all that bullshit, new to the scene basically. You would just, in the, how that would work in the olden days is you would basically just kind of upload your music to Spotify and kind of just hope for the best and like promote and do all of that. You get a certain percentage of your royalties and all that shit. But what Spotify's starting to do now, and it's kind of controversial is that 
they have a program where if you're a new artist and you're not really well known, you could submit your songs to like a discovery program. So what Spotify does is they take your new music and they take your new songs and you're going to recommend them to just random users that listen to the kind of music that you're trying to self-promote. But what's so controversial about it is that if you do that, Spotify takes 30% of your royalties on top of what they were already taking. But y'all gotta realize something, like Spotify is like, not like, like a fucking like music label or any shit like that. Like it's just its own business thing, just like kind of taking your money. And this is a very slippery slope in my opinion. Because what's gonna happen is if Spotify realizes that all of these new artists are super comfortable with just taking that 30% cut and then just doing that bullshit where they just put them in the discovery page, it, they're just gonna fucking just realize that they could just do shit like that. Just take your money, take your money, take your money. And that scares me that those groups of like small local artists trying to make it independent, they learn that shit's just gonna get fucking wild, I feel like. Greedy motherfucking companies are just gonna keep taking more and more and more. And what's gonna start to happen is that the more people start to sign up for that discovery shit, it's just gonna get oversaturated. So the whole point of designing, like signing up for the discovery shit is to get your music out there and notice. But if it just keeps getting oversaturated with people doing it and doing it and doing it, it's like, you're not gonna fucking do what it needs to do. And it's one of those things where they're like, all right, but we're getting them 30% royalties. So like, I don't know how I feel about that shit. It's, um, it's dope though. I like that that opportunity exists if you're a new artist to get your music out there. But it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like it's a real slippery slope and Spotify's gonna be like, yes, we got these motherfuckers. We're just gonna keep taking their money. Keep taking the royalties, keep taking more and more and making you as the independent artist less and less relevant. And I don't like that. This shit's so pretty, so fucking pretty. Alrighty. Cheers to poor decision, baby. That's a motto to follow in life. Irving Plaza, baby, we almost there. Just bought the motherfucking tour poster, bitch.
gonna take them off. Keep them on. Keep them on. Oh, wait. Oh, good. 
Big Bud New York. Come on, sing shit. All right. Here's what we're gonna do to have a good one. The sun is on, Carolyn. I can't see. Okay. Who cares? Yeah. It feels like you know when you're like meant to do a speech and they're like just imagine everyone in your underwear. Like that's like the vibe. I can't see shit. Maybe I'm right. <laughs> South, my brother. Start again. <laughs> New York, do you guys want to have fun so we can move past my no riz? Okay, you guys are gonna have to work hard for it because I've really got no riz apparently. Okay, right now, today, I need you guys to open it up as much as you can in the middle. We're gonna try and do the biggest wall of death we've ever seen in New York, okay? Yeah, that's the backflip. Get in the middle right now. Back foot. Um, back foot. Okay. No backflips. Girls in New York City, can no one do a backflip? We had three the other night in Canada. You can do that? You definitely can. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. When this next song kicks in, you guys are gonna run at each other, have a crazy time, New York, can you do that?
Minnesota. This is his very first tour and his very first show in New York City. I believe this artist is going to be one of the biggest in the world one day. So as far as I'm concerned, everyone in this room witnessed history tonight. As loud as you can, make some noise for party.
a little something like this. Karma's a bitch! Fuck Tiger! 
ask you to be a good follow-up. What do you think about a song called Rich Kids Ruin Everything? If you've ever been hated on for the way you look or the way you dress or the fucking music you listen to, this next song is made for you. It's called Rich Kids Ruin Everything. Let's go. exactly where we are supposed to be right now in this moment, man. I love you all very, very much. Thank you for making me not feel alone in a very strange time of my life right now. This next song is called Battle Scars. Motherfucking Urban Plaza, that show was fucking amazing. Holy fucking shit, y'all, that show was fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. I bought the fucking tour poster because I want to fucking remember this shit forever, bro. Holy fuck. Look at that motherfucking air pollution in lifetime, bitch. Take a look at my girlfriend, girlfriend. Oh my god, y'all, that was like the fucking best surprise of my life. That literally came so fucking out of, th fucking out of left thin air. I don't, I don't even, I can't even fucking speak right now. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, fucking amazing. I love you, I love y'all. This is what motherfuckers be calling the abstract the art, man. Grand fucking central, I see you, bitch. I fucking see you, bitch. I fucking see you, bitch. Grand motherfucking central, I am here, I am queer. We're ready to drink some beer. We are here at Grand Central. I'm getting the fuck out of the city. Good night, y'all. Stay late. Just pay that bill.